What's going on, guys? Johnny Raxa back again. I want to talk about something that is very near and dear to me that caused me to be very, very insecure about who I was. And that was my success. That was my that was my like degree, what school I went to. And being an introvert and shy and being afraid of people and what they thought about me, I think having that significance through the degree and success that people define in society was just this huge, huge factor of me not being able to relate with people, right? I had this, I went to this part, or well not, I went to, yeah, it was a party, it was a day party, and we had family around us, right? And there's this lady, I literally just, just met her, I think, and while I met her, I shook her hand, but I didn't really know she was. She was kind of distant towards me because I was not really part of the family. I'm, you know, dating into the family. She says, oh, she, I mean, eventually she might hear this, but I don't know. Even if she does, it's truth. She starts talking about, I started talking about her company, and she starts talking about what she does in the company. But she was so into herself that she started saying things about how the company is doing better because of her as if she was the ben- she was the only reason why the company was doing better this was a company that was going downhill for the longest time and she would just be like yeah i joined the company i'm a lawyer i'm a i'm a lawyer there and uh, ever since i joined and um yeah the company's just doing that much better we've gotten over such and such percentage and blah 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 and i'm like cool yeah that's awesome that's great to hear and I'm thinking to myself, does, does she really think that, does she really, really think that this has everything to do with her and not everything to do with the, the collective as a company and them doing better? Does she change like a few sentences in her legal documents that made everything better? And I'm just like, man, this is crazy. Also, I want to add into that another story is I grew up in uh, going to college. I knew a lot of people who went to a really high end, high prestigious school it wasn't no harvard or stanford it was a school that it was a uc in here in california and a lot of the students there they felt like they had something over me when i would speak to them and meet them you go to this school or i go to this school you know oh i i can think better now i can give more input because i went to this school you know and just you're, you're like man why can't you just be human why can't we just learn to 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 speak to one another on the same playing field rather than thinking that this education you have some kind of education over now granted i want to well i mean mind you after college after you graduate things is the let the playing field is level after you graduate i'm telling you right now it's because what i you should admire the most is your hustle because i feel like after reading so many books and learning so much on my own, I knew so much more than somebody who went to Berkeley. I'm sorry. Okay, it's Berkeley. Yeah, you see Berkeley, so I'm sorry. I'm not trying to call you guys out. I'm just saying some of you guys feel like you guys are better than other people. I'm not going to edit that out because obviously this is live. And I want to just, I'm just trying to be authentic here. Those students I went to, I knew going to that school a lot of them just have that vibe that they think they're better than you because they went to a better school. Well, I have a better job now than you do and also know a lot more about certain things than you do. You probably the, the probably the, be, the 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 thing that you have over somebody who went to a lower end school is that you know how to think a little bit better and maybe you know how to memorize things a little bit better than me. But if I can go at it every single day, learn and hustle, I guarantee you I will do much better than you. And if also, if I had better connections than you, then I would 100% guarantee that I would do better than you. There was, a, there's a lot of, actually, I chose a major that was beneficial to the tech boom here in SF. So my major already in itself was a lot better than an art or any major other than tech in Berkeley, right? Also, I had a lot of experience. What the, the funny thing was, was that when I applied for the job I have now, my boss said, you and this other lady that got hired too, you and this other lady, you guys were the only ones that had stuff on your resume that I can go to and check out. 
And everybody else, all the other 50 applicants that applied, didn't have anything. They just had theory-based stuff. And I'm just thinking, really? That is surprising. And at the same time, it's not. It's not surprising. So, you know, in the end, experience is golden, right? Experience is golden. Uh, a degree just tells me that you can just memorize stuff and yet you could before a test cause, so you'll get the good grade. And ultimately, getting a degree is not that hard. If you think about it, it's just if you can just put some effort into getting a degree, you'll get it. You'll get the degree. You'll you'll get it. You can get a freaking 2.0, but you'll still get it. Well, maybe not a 2.0, but you'll still get it. It's not like... I think the only thing, only professions that require a high GPA or would look at you or tests for doctors and whatnot right and of course if you're going to be a doctor you, you want the smartest person you don't want you want the person that works their butt off for a good gpa because you know that they're a little bit more authentic than somebody who just doesn't care right which is i'm pretty sure a lot of doctors there's out there don't care all i'm saying is this i'm saying that your degree and the def definition the success th is defined in society, me growing up as an Asian American, where the Asian parents are like, "Oh, this <laughs> Amy from uh, your cousin's, she just got to get to good school. She's so smart. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. Yeah, she's she when she talks, you know, she's like a little angel. <laughs> she, oh, she's so amazing. And really, in the end, she's like has insecurity problems and like wants to die and shoot herself because her parents are pressuring her. Okay, I know that's a little morbid, but. That's, I mean, that's it. We're all human. I think, I think here, here's my thing. The hardest, the, the most difficult things to do in life is to learn to love people. And I know that sounds very lovey dovey type stuff, but really in the end, I mean, think about it, right? It's so hard to love somebody who doesn't give anything for you. Like maybe like a wife or a husband or a child. It's so hard to actually be somebody who is loving towards other people. It's saying you're sorry when you know you're not right or even if they're right and you're just doing it. I mean, if saying you're sorry, even if you know you're right, but just to save the relationship, that's hard stuff. That's respectable stuff. Respectable stuff is letting down, letting go of all the stuff that people say and following your dreams of doing something that you absolutely love. Or, or there's, a, there's a story of this. I, I know this girl who works in my company and she's like, I'm going to take a month off of, uh, from, from work, not knowing if I'm going to get to come back and go to Africa and help the kids. And I was just like, Phew. wow, that, she was the hero of the office because she went out and did something that she felt she needed to do. And I was, I was applauding for her. I'm drinking some water real quick. I mean, that's amazing. Like, that's something that's so respectable. It's not like saving a gaming company of its demise i don't give a crap if farmville is gonna go down in the drain like if anything why like i'm glad that that kind of those kind of games will go down the drain it's the most i mean my mom i see her playing candy crush for like hours on end and it's like oh my gosh or it's somebody who could be doing something else and like they're playing games and whatnot i mean come on i i don't mind if that's we've lived without that we can live with it again but living with such a, a desire a humility to give up and not knowing what's ne next in store for you and just going after your your dreams man that that just it blows my mind and it still does anyways that's all i really want to say i just want to say yeah that's i mean in the end it why does it matter i mean why does it really matter if you are the best at some or i mean if you have an amazing degree or you're doing something that is like considered highly respectable show me and tell me what you can show me and tell me what is your dream and what have you done to pursue that or show me and tell me a time when you love somebody so much that you just sacrifice everything for them and i will respect you a hundred hundredfold for sure and i think that a self-respecting person would definitely see you a lot better and and you don't even you don't even brag about it show me somebody like that 
and that's amazing person not somebody who has is, has a law degree and thinks they're the the bee's knees no anyways uh i just want to say that and when you're sp talking to somebody who is like that just please just don't don't just don't focus on that i mean, I mean be impressed and in in to a certain extent but don't let that be like oh that's you're so amazing because of it don't don't give them anything show them that you know, show show that show her, him or her that in the end you care about them, not not what they do. All right, this is Johnny Raxa, and that's all I gotta say for now. And peace out, everybody. See you guys soon. Peace.